I am. So I have two sets of cards. I've got a dark set and a light set, and they both have symbols on them. They've got a star, uh, a square, some wavy lines, a, an X or a cross, and a circle. There's a dark set and a light set. Whichever set you want, that's the set you get. Have the light set. The light set. Okay. Give yours a mix. I'm going to give mine a mix. So you're going to randomize your cards. I'm going to randomize my cards. And uh, I'm even going to lay them down in something of a random order. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, something like that. If you could, one at a time, lay your cards wherever you like in any order on top of mine. Okay, now, I'm just going to pick them up in a bit of a random order as well. So, uh, to make it even more random, I'm going to cut the cards, but I'm going to do it so that one of the dark cards is on the top, and I'm going to let you decide. So it could be this card, it could be this card, it could be th whichever one you want, you choose. Go ahead and just point to one. That one right there. So, like this, yes? Yeah. Okay. No fake moves, no funny business. I'm just going to lay them back out again. Now, just to recap. I randomized my cards, you randomized your cards. I laid mine down in random order, you laid yours down in random order. We gave them a cut, you decided where. So if one of those pairs matches, that's almost to be expected, okay? One in five, the odds are good. If two pairs match, that's a coincidence. If three pairs match, that's what Freud would have called spooky. But if all five pairs match, that's just fate.